Okay. Oh my god, there's so many bottles inside. Ah, uh, there's two more bottles inside. Yeah, ice cream. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, ice cream, bro. Your head will be too full of water. Oh, my gosh. It can't even. Can you see me? Oh my god. 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 Wait, there's a lot of bottles there. Eh. Oh, what's going on? Can I put one in my bag? We have two bottles. Okay, oh. we, we have seven bottles. editing faith here i just had to step in to say a few things about this cafe okay i'm editing this in <laughs> november of 2023 and so i'm not sure if things have changed and i really hope that things changed for the better but i just wanted to tell everybody out there that this cafe i will not go again personally unless i really see that they have taken the effort to really take care of the pets there okay first of all there are both dogs and cats right i think the biggest red flag to me was that they did not have any like water bowls or like a designated pee place or pee pads and i'm not sure if they are potty trained or anything because you could tell like all of the dogs were like standing around near the toilet area which is towards the back and they were just waiting outside there's like this small little like door flap gate kind of thing to keep them away from the toilet right and one of the dogs barged in when one of the customers either went in or went out of that toilet area and the dog started to drink the water from a pail that was near the that swinging door you could tell that that dog was thirsty because that dog was quite desperate for it and after that it got scolded by the employees like literally like scolded just to <laughs> drink some water which was like the, the biggest red flag to me la, because you're depriving them of water and they are just like sitting around with no pee place no pee pads 
and no water and also no rest place for them to take a break in case they don't want to socialize which is what I see other pet cafes in Singapore are doing which I definitely recommend that because they need to rest too you know and not just that but when they scold the dogs right they had a cane and they were just like hitting the dog with the cane like right in front of the customers I, okay we went there like around opening time so there wasn't a lot of people I would say maybe like at most five customers at that time but the employee just took the cane and then they dragged the dog by the skin of the neck and punished them with the cane which when I saw I was like whoa what is this because like why are you resorting to physical things and it's not like they did something super terrible I mean that is not an excuse but y- you get what I mean lah right okay moving on to the cats when it first opened there wasn't a lot of people at the cat area most of the people were at the dog area so I went with Tawi to the cat area but we also realised that they weren't taken care of properly also like a lot of them was just sleeping and stuff which fine that's, that's okay because they're cats what right there were quite a few cats with fleas on their skin as we were scratching them and petting them etc we saw fleas in their fur and we were quite appalled by it because firstly they were not isolated from other cats which means the flea can jump from one cat to another and infect them and second of all they were just left out there they were not being taken care of when they had fleas and there was this guy at first we thought he was one of like the employees but after observing for a while Tao and I realised that maybe he might not have been an employee and just like a regular because we brought up the flea situation to him because we thought he was an employee and then he put it in this quarantine area for the cats like they had individual spaces for them basically like cages then he just put the cat inside and just explained to us oh how they check the cats in the morning and how sometimes some kid customers will come and open the door and nothing was done immediately and it was so weird because we were the first two to enter into the cat section and the cat that we were playing definitely was roaming outside because if they put in the isolation cages then we wouldn't open it because they might be isolated for a reason and things just didn't add up because if this cat had fleas and if they really checked each cat properly I'm pretty sure like majority of the cats would have been placed in there another thing to bring up is that the cafe did not educate their customers as to what they can and cannot do because as more people started coming in right we realized a lot of the customers they just try to disturb the cat and like want to play with the cat when they were resting it's basic etiquette like even if you don't own a cat if you're in the right frame of mind and respect the cats why do you go and disturb them when they're sleeping then when they are annoyed at you and they try to claw you because you literally just woke them up from their sleep of course they will be feeling feisty then you're like oh okay 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 like, why this cat like that I was looking and I was like bro you think (laughs) I just wished that at that point of time there were people to actually tell them what they should or should not do like, just tell them like oh hi welcome there are a few things that you shouldn't do like wake the cats up if you see that they're sleeping you can pet them it's okay but don't forcefully wake them up you know that kind of thing like say it in a nice tone just to guide customers okay last part beside this pet cafe there's actually a pet shop next door that you could see from the inside near the the toilet area it's connected so there definitely is under the same owner there were many puppies in metal cages that were stacked and they do not have water bowls or pee pads or so it just breaks my heart because you're definitely gonna dehydrate them like if you genuinely love dogs and love cats why do you want to put them in this kind of situation having the responsibility to actually have these dogs and cats you should be taking care of them properly just like any human being so that's all i have to say about my experience at this place do let me know if you have better experiences and any updates regarding this cafe if they have upped their care for (laughs) these animals and if these animals are being treated better (laughs) that's all i have to say thank you for listening my rent and okay let's continue the video oh. I heard you the first time don't tell me again it's not like we're both blind we've seen how it ends 
There's already salt on the wound So don't rub it in You talk like you didn't Just walk out my life I wish I could blame you But I can see why I'm still getting used to the fact But you're no longer mine Do I deserve more or do you deserve better? Ah, Why does it have oh, to be one or the other? Get rich. I hope that you find someone I couldn't be My dream might have died but yours just fell Maybe. asleep yeah. Help me decipher the reason you yeah. left I wish I had left you a little good, bit good. less And maybe the scale would have tipped But I'm still obsessed Ta -da. So go on and publicize all the lies I believe mm. And televise all the times you smile for me I pictured you always in frame But you've been gone for weeks Do I deserve more or do you deserve better? But why does it have to be one or the other? Still I do hope that you find someone I couldn't be My dream might have died but yours just fell asleep